complacency. Now, a lot of people really object when I say that this could be a, anything like a temporary phase and um, that we could potentially even consider returning to a, uh, a more primitive future. Because um, most people would say someone 200 years from now, uh, or life 200 years from now, is so unimaginable to us, just like people in 1800 could not have imagined what we're doing today. And so why should we, uh, you know, they're trying to bring humility to this argument, that we shouldn't assume that we can even comprehend the world 200 years from now. I totally agree. Um, let's say that that future 200 years from now, we're clubbing each other over the heads with half-gnawed bones pr protecting our food supply. Um, who today here in this room would have possibly conceived that that could happen, right, based on where we are in our trajectory? So I'm all about humility in the future, um, but let's not make it un, uh, unjustifiably asymmetric based on our recent history um, on a finite resource. But let's say that we manage a transition to a renewable resource and we can level out our energy, okay? Um, leveling out actually means that we'd have to live at about a fifth of the U.S. standard of living today, and I say that because the U.S. has 5% of the world's population, 25% of the energy, and inequalities are difficult to justify in a steady state world. Okay, as long as you've got growth, you can say, well, the people at the bottom have growth opportunity ahead of them. Once you realize that's not true, inequality becomes a moral issue, very difficult to maintain. But could we even sustain today's physical throughput? I mean, we've got pollution problems, fisheries, uh, degradation, uh, rainforests are being chopped, soil quality we're losing, ancient aquifers being pumped out, mineral loss. I mean, so energy is not the only part of the story here. And if you want to accomplish the dream of everybody in the world lives like Americans do today, <clears throat> we need about a 10 times increase in our, our throughput. And five times just to have today's population at today's standards, but we're gonna have growth in population and today's standards in the, in the dream world. So that's a factor of 10 total, I'm, I'm calling it. But you guys are nice people, I'll give you a discount, knock it back down to five, uh, because we're gonna have some efficiency gains, whatever. But this is what it looks like, and it makes the fossil fuel era look like a, an insignificant blip. And some people say, well, exactly so, it's just the kickstart, maybe so. Um, but what makes us think we can do this when we're not maintaining at one times uh, very well. So an example, a kid might really want a pony, more than anything in the world, want a pony. Pony, 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 all you hear about is pony. A smart parent might say, okay, well, let's give you a gerbil. Let's see how you take care of it. Can you feed it? Can you clean its cage? If you manage that, you get a kitten. It's more work. You got a litter box, it's more needy. If you can manage that though, we'll give you a puppy. We'll give you a puppy. And, um, you know, more work, you gotta walk it. If you can manage that, upgrade to a goat. Now you got a paddock to take care of and you're almost like a farmer. If you can do the goat, then you get the pony. Okay, that's a responsible approach. And the problem I see is that we're having difficulty right now with the 1X case. We're not taking care of a gerbil. We haven't shown that we can take care of a gerbil. And so what makes us think that we deserve a pony? Are we deluding ourselves by talking about the pony? Pony, 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 that's what we talk about here, pony. So um, do we deserve to be using the word sustainable also? Because we haven't really understood what it means or what level we can expect to operate sustainably. And it's an open question. Uh, so I think, in my mind, the fossil fuel joyride that we've experienced has clouded our judgment. We think that we're clever and we're smart. Well, really, you know, we're the monkey who stuck a stick into the ground and it came out dripping with honey or oil, and we were very pleased with ourselves. But, you know, it's, it's the energy. That's what made us capable of doing what we're doing. Now